again, everybody out there in uh, internet jazz land or internet jazz world. <laughs> So welcome to another video where we're going to discuss, again, we're going to continue with our survey of the um, ongoing recording output of the late great jazz giant Benny Goodman. Thank you, Benny. <laughs> so this is, of course, the usual Benny Goodman theme song. Um, what I want to talk about in this uh, video is the... We're going to go into the 60s slowly with Benny Goodman and his recordings. Um, there would be more to cover from the 50s. Uh, you know, we left... We were in 1958 in the last uh, program uh, with his live recordings at Brussels, at the Brussels International World Fair, which I highly recommend. That is a fantastic uh, two-record set, originally uh, issued on a two-LP set. Uh, now available on compact disc um it's a wonderful wonderful recording there's uh wonderful uh performances there by everybody in the band because of course uh, as i said many times in many of the previous videos benny always uh surrounded himself by top talented jazz men and as we go into the 60s um there's going to be a major event right at the beginning of the 60s in 1962 uh, we got to remember we're at the height of the Cold War and uh, Benny is going to be uh, asked by the State Department in the United States to form a new orchestra. Um, he's going to form this orchestra and a special purpose, the State Department wants to try and arrange a tour of the Soviet Union. Now we're at the height of the Cold War. Things are not easy with the Russians, and as we know today, as I record this in 2023, uh, things are still not easy with the Russians. <laughs> but uh, back then, it was the height of the Cold War, 1962. Uh, there was the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. Uh, everything was very high tension. I guess the uh, American government wanted to try and ease the tensions a little bit, try and soften things up. They say, hey, we're going to send, you know, some jazz over there. We're going to send some jazz uh, musicians over to the Soviet Union as a gesture of goodwill. Try and cool things down a little, a little bit. You know, nobody wants es escalation between nuclear power. Nuclear power is it's the same thing today as it was the same back then, as I'm sure everybody listening knows. So, um... <clears throat> Benny's going to form a band. Um, he's going to do a state concert tour of the Soviet Union in 1962. At the end of the tour, there's going to be some controversy about his choice of repertoire, what he was to play there. Uh, some people said, oh, you're playing, you know, old jazz from the 30s. It's not, you should have played more modern stuff, more stuff into the 60s, you know. Uh, jazz had evolved considerably since the swing era, of course, which Benny is a product of and uh, so there was some criticism there was all kinds of stuff but nevertheless the tour was a triumph it was a, su a success in the uh, in the Soviet Union in 1962 and uh, Benny was greeted in many cities uh, very warmly greeted of course his parents were immigrants from Russia they were Jewish immigrants that immigrated to the USA from Russia in uh, the early 1900s so um, he might have still have some relatives. I don't know. I didn't read up on that. Did he have some uh, distant relatives still living there um, in Russia? I don't know. But nevertheless, um, it was a triumphant tour, and Benny assembled a band. Here's here's the uh, personnel. I'm going to give you the personnel that he assembled. The excellent big band that he put together, which is the ones that play the introduction, by the way, uh, Let's Dance. That was that band that was recorded live. This recording, live in Russia, of course, there was recordings made by RCA. It was under contract with RCA back then in 1962. And um, he was, uh, it was a, the original issue of this particular recording, which is a historical, of historical importance. Uh, I think it's, it's just as important as the Carnegie Hall concert. This is a a big band that tours the Soviet Union. I don't know if they were the first big band to tour the Soviet Union, but they were probably the most important big band to tour the Soviet Union, headed by one of the most uh, important uh, or well-known, if you want, uh, jazz musicians 
uh, of the time, at the time, you know, the King of Swing, the, the late great King of Swing was going for a tour of Russia. That was a, a first, definitely. And he assembled an orchestra. Here's the people who were in the orchestra. He had on trumpets, Joe Newman, Joe Wilder, Jimmy Maxwell, and John Frosk. On uh, trombone was Wayne Andre, Willie Dennis, and Jimmy Nieper. On uh, alto saxophone, none other than Phil Woods and Jerry Dodgson. On uh, the tenor saxophone, the great Zoot Sims and the great Tommy Newsom of the uh, Tonight Show band fame. Uh, Gene Allen was on baritone saxophone. John Bunch, who was to uh, participate with Benny's orchestra many, many times over in the 50s and 60s. John Bunch is on piano. Turk Van Lake was on guitar. Bill Crow was on bass. And Mel Lewis, the great Mel Lewis at the drums. So it didn't just take along anybody. Again, Benny knew how to pick them, knew how to choose them. He chose some top-notch musicians of the day. Uh, for his small uh, trio and uh, quintet uh, performances and octet performances, he had brought, managed to bring along with him on vibraphones, the great Victor Feldman and the one and only Teddy Wilson on piano was uh, with him there in Russia. Uh, and when he performed in a small uh, quintet uh, version, he had Teddy Wilson, Turk Van Lake on guitar, Bill Crow on bass, Mel Lewis on drums on some numbers, and then on some other numbers, he was a, he, he, he had a noctet formation, and uh, he plays with uh, Joe Newman on trumpet, Zoot Sims on tenor sax, Vic Feldman on vibraphone, Teddy Wilson on piano, Turk Van Lake on guitar, Bill Crow on bass, and Mel Lewis on drums, of course. So this was quite a great, great band, very able musicians that toured Russia in 1962. As I said, the product of this was a two-record set issued, I think, in 1963 by RCA. It is now available on CD. I've got two different CD editions of it. Um, I don't know if they managed to get everything that was on the two-record set on this CD. I don't think they did. Uh, the first CD edition I have here, which I'll be playing, is from the Giants of Jazz collection. Uh, that's an, on an Italian CD label uh, that uh, surveys a lot of the great jazz names and a lot of their recordings. Uh, so they issued this Italian company that puts out the Giants of Jazz series. Uh, they put out this live in Russia, Benny Goodman in Russia, 1962, uh, on one CD totaling uh, 71 minutes and a couple of seconds. Uh, I don't know if, again, if it comprises everything that was on the original issue, two records said issue, but it's pretty close. Uh, there's also another issue that I have. I think there's been a two CD set issue also, so it probably has more material. I wasn't able to find that one in my, in my stuff, uh, unfortunately. I wanted to try and get the two CD issue. Maybe I'll find it for the next program. But anyway, in the meantime, I want to play you a couple of tracks here from this historical performance. So here we go. One of the first numbers they played there, of course, was the one and only, the very appropriately titled Mission to Moscow from Benny Goodman. <laughs> a bit of a nerve-wracking tour for uh, Benny as he was of course this is during the Cold World War days so he was being followed around by uh, Soviet uh, agents all the time to make sure you know that uh, nothing fishy was going on the Soviet government was very suspicious when anybody came over for anything any reason from the West so he was uh, followed around by the Soviet secret police and uh, he was a little bit there was a certain tension in the air let's put it this way 
But the Russian public, uh, all in all, appreciated very much jazz. They were already very much into jazz. Uh, a lot of Russian musicians were actually playing jazz at the time and uh, recording some jazz in the Soviet Union. So jazz had definitely crossed the Iron Curtain and there was nothing that the Soviets could do about it uh, at the time. The communists couldn't stop that. It's hard to stop music, you know? <laughs> so Benny uh, was his usual fluid clarinet playing self, as you can tell. A mission to Moscow for Benny. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there was tremendous applause. There was whistling in the crowds. He got a very, very good uh, greeting. And here he is on a number where he's going to introduce every musician in the band. Bill Crow at the bass violin. Go on, Mel Lewis is the drum. Dirk Van Lake at the guitar. sessions also but um, there's Willie Dennis at the trombone so again some excellent excellent musicians playing with Benny and this concert is a very, very good uh, concert, excellent concert, excellent performance uh, by all the people. There's Joe Newman. Joe Newman. Larry <laughs> Cross. Joe Wilder. Jimmy Maxwell. Benigman at the clarinet, of course. <laughs> So again, 
This was an excellent band with excellent musicians. An excellent top rate top rated jazz jazz band of the period. They did a wonderful tour of the Soviet Union and came back triumphant. They really were well uh, uh, appreciated everywhere they went in the Soviet Union. I think some people have been listening to some Benny Goodman for a long time, so it's quite an honor for Benny to be sent over there. It was something else for the Soviets also to be able to see Benny Goodman, not something they could see very often, the American bands coming over the Soviet Union, definitely not and like uh, in Europe. Of course, it was a very closed society at the time behind that iron curtain so it was quite something that tour it was an historical moment for Benny it was quite a personal honor to be the one chosen and entrusted by the State Department to head that tour to head the band choose the musicians everything uh, and I think all the musicians that were taken over there never forgot that tour brought back with them some 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 serious memories of uh, you know going behind the iron curtain it was a uh, quite a privilege because not everybody could do that and would be, uh, you know, uh, have that, that, that privilege to, to be over there, especially at that time in history, knowing the, the situation, the tension between the countries. So here they are performing I Got a Bad and That Ain't Good from Duke Ellington. <clears throat> I believe this is the kind of material that was reproached, uh, that they reproached Benny. They said, you did too, mu too much old stuff from the 30s, but Remain, they remain classics. This thing from uh, Duke Ellington, come on. I mean, it's old, but it's always going to be good. addition to anybody's Benny Goodman uh, collection, to anybody's jazz collection for that matter. Um, recorded in 1962 on tour in the Soviet Union. It's a historical recording. It's uh, got some phenomenal, great playing by everybody in the band, including Benny, of course. So, well worth your investment if you're looking to listen to what Benny was doing into the 60s with a big band. a famous number that he had a hit with in 1942, Stealing Apples. John Bunch. Of course, they played a lot of the great numbers from the big band era again. Uh, can't blame Benny for doing that. That's what he did all the time, even when he went to Europe. Um, you know, so I don't understand the reproach of not playing modern enough. I mean, that was Benny's style. Benny did not play bebop. Benny did not play the modern, the really modern type jazz, like hard bop. He never went into that. He tried a little bit of bop at the in the 40s, but that was it. He left it there. You know, he, he stayed in his category, his style, pretty much his whole career right to the end. Um, here it is, here's one o'clock jump, the beginning. <laughs> Again, 
the great John Bunch on the piano. There's the great Zoot Sims. Yeah. <laughs> Whether they were um, in the USA, in Canada, in Europe, wherever, these jazz men, when they got together, they cooked. We can see Zeus cooking right here. So I'm not gonna make this a very long uh, video. Just wanted to introduce you to this album, this recording, and let you know that it's out there for people who didn't know it. Uh, live tour, recording during 1962's tour of the Soviet Union, the Benny Goodman Orchestra and small group. I'm gonna leave you with a, an example of the quintet playing a medley here. Uh, here's, here's the Benny Goodman Quintet. <laughs> Benny was on fire. He was. He must have practiced a lot before going to the Soviet Union, boy. <laughs> he always practiced a lot. He was known to practice enormously, enormous amount of times, to always be on top of his instrument. And so it shows too in his playing. So anyway, that's the um, quintet playing there, and. Uh, the total number of tracks on this CD edition, on the Giants of Jazz edition, Italian edition that we're listening to right now, uh, there's 15 tra uh, 16 tracks, sorry, all told. Uh, he's going to perform with the big band Let's Dance, Mission to Moscow, Meet the Band, which is a part of what I played there earlier. I Got a Band That Ain't Good, Why Are You, Tighter Pipes, uh, Stealing Apples, Fetters, One O'Clock Jump, Bye Bye Blackbird, Swift as the Wind, Fontainebleau, Meadowland, Goodbye, of course, his signature signing off tune. Uh, on the, with the quintet, you're gonna play a medley that we're hearing right now of Avalon, Body and Soul, Rose Room, and the World is Waiting for the Sunrise. And then on the Alamo. So Benny was showing him, he still got it. I still got it. Make no mistake about it. I still got it on the clarinet. Look out. So, on that note of body and soul, I'm going to let you go for this little video um, recording. 
and uh, bid you goodbye and uh, tell you, leave you with the final last words that I always leave you with. Until next time, until the next program where we'll keep on listening to some of the stuff that Benny was up to and recording in the 60s. More great stuff ahead, believe me. There's some fantastic stuff right to the end from Benny Goodman. I leave you with these words, these usual jazz words, people. Jazz on, people. Jazz on. And we'll see you in the next program. Bye-bye.